I want to talk to you guys about your businesses and why they might be flatlining, why they might be, you know, you're needing to inject more life into them. Let me know if you can see this as you come in, the, the joys and magic of being live and doing Facebook. Can you see it, Vivian? Are we working? Okay. You see the palm trees? <laughs> see the tea? Um, thank you guys for hanging with me on this one. Uh, it's just part of it, but at least it's a nice soul fueled Sunday for us to relax. Um, wherever you are in the world. So I want to share a couple of takeaways from my incredible experience here at the Greatness Mastermind with uh, my new friend, Lewis Howes, and all the incredible people who are part of this power posse. Um, it has just been beyond, beyond, beyond uh, expansive for me in so many ways. And I just want to simply share with you guys um, just some of the things that I've learned and from my own experience and from the big, huge takeaways and learning that I have uh, had the, the gift to garner from the incredible speakers and, and humans that I've had the honor of being around for the last couple of days. Okay, awesome, Vivian. Thank you, dear. So um, here's the here's the big thing that has like really been the underpinning and the biggest takeaway, I think, of this whole experience. And I just know this is going to really resonate for a lot of you guys. And I really want to highlight this one because I know it's going to reverberate in your soul when I say it. Um, so it's this, that I've achieved a great amount of success in my life in many different realms. I mean, anything that I have embarked upon and uh, challenged myself with, whether that be, you know, my career in collegiate athletics to uh, my division one soccer career to um, doing a beauty pageant for the first time and winning and uh, launching a, a business and, and building a multiple six figure business. And that might sound like a little braggadocious or a little boastful. And frankly, I, I'm kind of over that. So I'm not even gonna, I'm not apologizing. Um, but what I am going to say is that it's no, it's no mistake. It's a rinse and repeat model that I have really tasked myself with. And, and truly you guys, it's the key to success and it's not unique to me, right? I want you to think about in your life, the places and spaces where you have allowed yourself to be, um, just completely obsessed with a, with an, a goal or an objective or something you really wanted to make happen and how it just feels like the seas parted and you walk towards it and it just happened. And it was like the most magnificent, magnificent experience. And so what lives underneath that, and this is sort of like the underpinning of, um, and really like actually even better word that my friend Rachel Canfield uses all the time, the underbelly of that is that no matter how much external success I experience, there has always been this sort of like faint little, shadow of a doubt or this sensation that somehow I'm not worthy of the success that I seek and thus achieve, but still there's this little question mark about it. And, um, and it could be about really anything, anything at all. And that, that underbelly, that shadow, that fear is not unique to me. We all experience that in some way or another. We don't feel like we're worthy. And I had this incredible experience being here in these last few days and having someone that I admire greatly and who has been someone who's been a, a teacher to me, someone I've looked up to and learned from on this journey of entrepreneurship since I began. Awesome, Jill. Thanks. Um, in Lewis House. And uh, I awakened, you know, to an email in my inbox two weeks ago saying, um, you're in. Do you want to join us? A personal invitation from the man himself saying, come join us. Come be here in Santa Monica. Come experience this in person. And the, the huge learning from this, you guys, is that it doesn't matter how many invitations you get or how many accolades or amazing things that any other person is going to say to you. It's really about you getting to that place on the journey where you're willing to fully accept yourself. And, and it's really powerful to have mentors and people you look up to and your soul connects with and that you are, that you feel aligned with who say, girlfriend, you got it. There's nothing stopping you so that you can realize and you can awaken to the fact that the only thing stopping you, the only thing that has ever stopped you on your journey is you. Woo, right? Like, and it's not like this is the first time you've ever heard those words. And it's definitely not the first time I've said these words to myself, but I'm just in this different place because I'm, I'm just immersed in this incredible experience of every single thing that I've ever asked for in my life. And it's like, why are you not believing it guys? Why are we not actually believing it when it's here? It's like the crazy analogies that would be like, 
ordering something from the restaurant and the waiter brings it out and you're like, I still don't have my spaghetti. And the person's like, but it's on the table. It's right in front of you. I just gave it to you. And you're like, but I want the spaghetti. Why are you not bringing my spaghetti to me? It's like we live in this illusion, like this delusional world that is like we don't even see what's right in front of us. What's ours for the taking? What's our gift to, to embrace and to hold on to and to like grab those reins and ride it? Because life is meant to be ridden and enjoyed. We are meant to have our hair down and the wind in our faces and diving into the ocean and feeling the water molecules on our skin. Good morning, Sigrid. That's what we're here for is to feel the fullness of this life experience, to soak in these palm trees, to soak in the sounds and all of the air and all the goodness that's around us. That's what life is about, you guys. And here's what, here's how I'm gonna bring it into your business right now. You've chosen to create the business that you've created so you can experience more of the fullness of your life. Your business is the, is the springboard and the platform to lead you to more living. And that awareness and that awakening allows you to get more playful and to have more fun on the journey rather than feeling so robotic about it and feeling so um, nailed down. And when you recognize that the worthiness thing, the, the trophy, the worthiness trophy has, was gifted to you the day you were born and you are the person who has the opportunity to, to, to honor it, to shine it up, to put it on the mantle, to look at it and to say, yeah, I gave that gift to myself. Well, truly God gave you that gift, but it's your choice, you know, whatever, however you want to extrapolate that, whatever gives you meaning, that's the only thing that matters, right? It's focusing on what gives you meaning, what makes you feel uplifted, what makes you feel excited. So this chat is about, uh, is your business growth flatlining? Perhaps are you like the person who's like ready calling in the paddles to like revive it, to get this thing going again? I want to talk to you about three ways to make that happen, to achieve that exponential success that you desire. And when I say that, you know, success is relative, right? It's whatever your definition of it is. And, and that's worthy, you know, like that is worthy. My definition of success is different than the people that are in the room with me that I've been spending this week with. We all have a different definition of success and no definition is more accurate or better than the other, right? Because it's unique to us. And so once I can ride the wave on that and get really excited about that and then feel connected and inspired by others by watching them achieve their version of success, like that is one of the keys, right? It's, it's this permission piece to recognize that there's no timeline on achieving your dreams. There's really no a timeline on it. You are the person who gets to decide what that timeline actually looks like. Ask and it is given. Ask and it is given. The invitation from Lewis came so much sooner than I thought it would. But once it came... What was I going to do? Say to the universe, I'm not ready, I'm not ready? Absolutely not. I was gonna say, yeah, let's do this thing. I'm in. I had one week to buy a plane ticket, to book the hotel, to make the whole plans, to get the childcare arranged and all that stuff, and it all happened. Because you know what? When someone in your life sees you moving in the direction of your dreams, it's so inspiring. They wanna rise up to meet you. They wanna rise up within themselves to support you because you give them life by going forth for what it is you desire. So the first thing I want to talk to you guys about in terms of these like three ways to help you inject more life into your business, because that's what this is like life, abundance, money. It's all life. It's all, it's all feeling. It's all living. The first is asking yourself the question, where am I out of integrity with myself? Where am I out of integrity with myself? Where am I actually playing really small? And what I mean by out of integrity with yourself is that perhaps you're not allowing yourself to show up as who you really are in your life across the board. Perhaps you're not telling the truth. When was the last time you told someone that you love what your big dreams were? When was the last time you put it down on paper and you actually told yourself what your big dreams were? The ones that make you feel really nervous. The ones that make you feel scared. When was the last time you did that? Because the realization is, I know they live in you guys. Your dreams are the thing that lived in you before anything else. You were born with them. You have curated and cultivated them and honed them and made them more powerful you know, as the days have gone on, or perhaps many of you have sort of deprogrammed them from yourself. But here's the cool thing about that. You can't take it out of you, you guys. Your dreams are, are you. Your dreams are, uh, they're, that, that's the most innate, beautiful thing about being human is that we're born with dreams and that everybody's are different. And I love that. I love like watching people walk by and thinking like, what are their dreams? I wonder what their dreams are. You know, like they're really like un, uninhibited, uh, 
swing for the fences dreams. So when was the last time you let yourself actually, you know, give yourself permission to talk about them to yourself first, but then to others as well. If you're feeling really brave, comment below and tell me what they are. I would love to know. So that is living out of integrity with who you really are. And so your inner being, the wisest part of you, the part of you that has known those dreams all forever and ever and ever eternal is never forgotten is calling bullshit on you. It's saying that's this choice that you're making right now is not going to move me toward those dreams. So I'm actually not going to be able to really manifest anything good unless it's going to move me more in the direction of what I'm being called to. Try that one on for size. So being out of integrity with yourself means not aligning with what it is you really want and not giving yourself permission to want it. So your assignment number one is to get honest today. Today, not tomorrow, not like in a week, today with your notebook and write down what the hell it is you actually want and get real about it. Call yourself on it. Put it on paper. Give yourself the gift of your own honesty, your own truth. That's one. Two. You don't have the right container to actually make this stuff happen. So in alignment with this whole notion of being out of integrity with yourself, you have set up a life and a business that isn't actually what you really want. You know, you're calling yourself what you're calling yourself because you think you're supposed to, because you think that's what's going to get sales, because you think that's what people want. When in reality, people just want you to be the best version of you. People want you to be awesome and epic and unforgettable and fun and loving and vulnerable and truthy because you know what no one really truly thinks that you're not worthy i'm going to tell you this i walked into this room and every single person in there treated me like i am one of them they don't know how much money i have in the bank they don't know how much you know they don't know my story they don't know anything but they treated me like i am one of them and you know what if you're being really honest with yourself when you go places when you meet people that's how people in general really do treat each other. We treat each other like we're worthy. We treat each other like we want to be treated most of the time. But here's the thing. We are all so jaded by our own limiting self-beliefs and our own, you know, crushing way that we see ourselves. And so we bring that with us as like this lens and this filter for the way we show up and interface with other people. So when you get on a sales call, you're getting on that sales call with your own stuff right in front of you before you even talk to the person. You're projecting your stuff onto her before she even gives you a second to give you feedback about you know, how you might be able to really serve her, energetically and actually physically, logically, right? So if you have a container that's set up, whether that's in your life, your relationships, your business, that allows you to value yourself and to feel inspired and alive and excited, then you're going to be able to serve at your highest calling. You're going to be yourself. There's this cool experience yesterday where um, one of my mastermind sisters is Jenna Kutcher. Now, Jenna Kutcher, you guys, is like next level amazing. She's actually like one of those entrepreneurs that like I love and had like looked to of learning from her all the time. I love following her. I always watch her Insta stories. Like I watch everything she does. Jenna's in my mastermind. So Jenna's now my friend, right? We've been hanging out for the last few days. She's amazing. We had like an amazing soul chat yesterday. And um, she goes... You guys, come on, we're doing headshots. And she just grabbed all of us, like, as we were. I didn't have time to, like, go put on fake eyelashes or, like, go make sure that my lip gloss was perfect. I just showed up and took pictures as myself. And, wow, what an amazing experience to realize that I don't have to, like, go through all these hoops and jumps and limiting, you know, thoughts to just be myself. And so same thing goes here today, right? I'm like, I'm going to do a live this morning. I have stuff I want to talk about and I'm going to show up and I'm going to sit down and I'm going to find a spot and it's going to be awesome. Didn't give myself a second to think about anything other than that. Just taking action and creating the space to support myself in realizing my dreams. Really simple, you guys. So what are you doing to create containers and mechanisms and spaces inside of your business and inside of your life where you actually can serve in the way that you best serve and the way that you want to serve? And I'm going to take a little commercial break right here to share with you guys an invitation because this is, this is the living proof. This is walking the talk, right? So right now I have applications open and I'm enrolling into my soul field mastermind. I started enrolling a week ago and we have an incredible group of women that are in. We have a live 
retreats together in August. We have bi-weekly coaching calls. You have private coaching calls with me, and it's an incredible, incredible offering and space for you to really expand into the fullness of who you are and what it is you're ready for. And I'm going to have you guys, if someone could pop the link in for me, I would be so grateful. AmberLillyStrom.com slash mastermind. It's also in the um, description. Fill out an application, you guys. Let's get on the phone. Let's get clear about why your business is flatlining, why you have crickets chirping, why there are no strategy calls coming into your inbox, why you're not having conversations with the people that want to work with you and who really need you, right? Who really need your, your support, on this journey. I'm, I don't want you to wait anymore. I don't want you to look at the, the calendar and go, well, maybe next year. Why can't it happen now? Why can't you have those strategy calls this week? Right? But the problem is it becomes the next step, which I'm going to talk to you guys about is that you're afraid of the unknown. So you stop. You're so hung up on your how that you do nothing. And I learned something from my friend, Sterling Griffin. He's amazing. He'll be on my podcast. He shared with me this notion that overwhelm empowers laziness. Overwhelm empowers complacency. Here's the thing, you guys, when you feel overwhelmed, and I'm guilty too, so I'm totally speaking from this place of my own truth. When I feel overwhelmed, I hit the opt-out button and I go, I just need to go figure it out, which actually means I just need to take a beat because I'm effing scared. I need to go sit down with my notebook and journal for a little while instead of taking action, you know? And if you're gonna sit down and journal and you're gonna come up with a creative idea that's gonna ignite what it is you want and you're gonna come up with the strategy and the plan and the steps and the, the divine inspiration that's gonna come forth to help you attract in what it is you're ready to attract in, well, great. But if that's not what you're gonna do and you're gonna go, you know, watch some stupid show because you're, you know, or fold the laundry or do something that you don't really need to be doing, check Facebook a hundred times, uh, then you're just allowing yourself to completely opt out of your dreams which creates this like vicious cycle, which I know you're, so many of you here are stuck in the swirl of it. You've been in it for years, right? And it's time to just stop. Like it's time to stop right now and to say, I'm the one who makes the decision. I am inviting you right now. You're on this conversation to apply, to be part of this mastermind, right? There's, I believe in divine timing of everything, right? So I had like the little weird glitch, had to restart. Now you're here and you're listening to me talk. And I'm sharing with you this experience that I just spent with these incredible people who are making millions of dollars and who are literally living their dreams, right? The money's just part of the deal. It's not the, it's not the focus. These people have a huge mission to really serve. And so when I get scared about money or I get scared about like vulnerability or putting myself out there or not being perfect, uh, I'm not only blocking money and abundance from coming to me, but most, 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 I am blocking myself from fulfilling my mission and why I'm here, which is to serve and support others on their journeys. Because we are all these why warriors, right? Like girlfriends, have you seen Wonder Woman yet? If you have not run to the movie theater today and go watch it, that is us girls. That is us. We have a mission of love. We have a mission of, of compassion, of joy, of wanting to really help people awaken to the fullness of who they really are. Like that's what all of our work does. Like that's what Jenna does behind the camera. That's what Lewis does from, from where he speaks and, and serves. That's what all of us do in one way or another. And so when you stop yourself with overwhelm because you're trying to you know, protect yourself from the saber toothed tiger that doesn't even exist anymore, when you allow overwhelm to be the diversion that keeps you safe and, and away from you know, having to figure out what comes next, then you're not doing anything. You're not doing anything useful. Like, sorry guys, you're just not doing anything useful. You're being complacent. You're being lazy. You're hiding behind your fear. And it's just the truth. Like, oh, I know it probably stings a little bit, but I hope that you guys are hearing this the way that it's intended to be heard. Because the truth of the matter is, is I wanna like lovingly shake you and awaken you to the, to the fact that you get to decide. It's like, I can't stop talking about this story about this amazing client that I have. Her name is Bree. She has a four week old baby right now and a three year old boy, little boy. And we've been working together. She launched her business on June 1st, literally when her baby was like three weeks old. And like she's breastfeeding in the whole bit. And she just had a five figure month. It's June. What is the date today? Like the 10th? It's June. No, the 11th. It's June 11th. She has a five figure month already, you guys. This is her first five figure month in her entire life. That is life changing, you guys. And guess what? She has those five figures in order to really help other people in a, in a just dramatic way because she's really good at what she does. So Bree and I are no different than you guys. Lewis is no different than any of us. I know him now, right? He just keeps taking action. 
he lets his mission be bigger than his fear. He's led by his heart and by what he's known all the days of his life and the way that he really wants to serve. And so that's the magic, you guys. So I encourage you to apply. Apply for the mastermind. Let's get on a call. Let's make it happen. Let's look at where you are right now and plan to three, five, six, ten exit by the time the end of the year rolls around. Because it's possible, you guys. And I'm living proof. I'm living proof. And I've got some really big goals that I'm really excited to rock in these next few months. There's momentum like there never has been before and clarity. And I want to bring you along for the ride. I want to share with you guys. I want to walk hand in hand with you on everything that I've learned, everything that I'm going to be testing, everything that I am sharing. Open book. Like that's what my mastermind is. Open book. The people that I connect with, the people that I learn from, the people that I, that I uh, rely on, the way that I've grown my team and will be making some, some changes when I get home and really expanding that in an even bigger way to create more space for more of what we want, right? Because I'm being called by the universe to do all these things, being called by all of it to just like expand into it and to grow. That's what it's all about. So thank you guys for being here today, this morning. Take in this view one more time. Check it out. Tomorrow, there will be water, but it'll be colder (laughs) and it'll have pine trees, not palm trees. Um, I'll see you guys. I'll talk to you this week. AmberLotion.com slash mastermind. Fill out your application and I cannot wait to help you. Motorcycle. Cannot wait to help you step into what it is you really want to create it, to serve in a much bigger way than you are and to like just ignite, ignite, ignite your success to have all the things that you want. You guys, it's possible. All you got to do is say yes. All you got to do is go, I don't know. I'm scared, but I'm saying yes anyway. And I'm getting on the plane. I'm sending in the application. I'm doing it. Let's go girl. I'm getting on the plane. I'm coming to New Hampshire. We're doing this thing in person. Let's do it. Jill. I know girl, you're a rock star. We're doing it girl. We're doing it. Okay. I love you guys. AmberLillyStrom.com slash mastermind. I will talk to you this week. Thank you for being here. You can join my list over at AmberLillyStrom.com also and grab uh, my five tips to my five branding secrets revealed. So just get on the list, you guys. Just be part of the tribe. Let's freaking do this. Have a great Sunday, you guys. Bye.